Okay, guys. Just three days after Simon Ekpa, Biafra agitator, was arrested in Finland, fresh allegations have surfaced on social media, suggesting his wife has filed for divorce and seeking custody for their children. This development follows Ekpa's ongoing legal battle, stemming from allegations of terrorism in Nigerian Southeast region. Ekpa, a controversial figure in the Nigerian diaspora, was arrested on Thursday by Finnish authorities. His arrest has drawn attention due to his alleged connection to activities in Nigeria linked to the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO. However, Ekpa has publicly denied being a member of IPO and also denied being the prime minister of the public of the Biafran government. According to reports, a Finnish court has reminded Ekpa in custody and he has reportedly been denied bail. Amidst these legal wolves, allegations of personal troubles have surfaced. A post by an ex-user, Citizen Observer, claimed that Ekpa's wife has filed for divorce and is seeking sole custody of their son. The post described Ekbaz as a fraudulent character whose empire is collapsing, further alleging that his wife initiated legal proceedings while he remains in detention. Another ex-user, IPOP Centra, echoed these claims, asking if reports were true that Ekbaz's wife had refused to visit him in detention and had taken legal steps to secure full custody of their children. The user suggested that this move might be in anticipation of a prolonged or indefinite incarceration. These claims have sparked intense debates on social media, with critics and supporters of Ekpa exchanging opinions. Some commentators have linked the development to his political activities. Why others argue, urge it reflects his personal conduct and decisions. Meanwhile, IPOP, under the leadership of the detained activist Namde Kano, has reportedly disassociated itself from Simon Ekpa. Many IPOP members view him as an opportunist who has exploited the group's cause for personal gain. Well, Nigerians who have reacted to this have this to say, let's hear them out. Simon Ekpa's wife has no saying so on her head by taking law into her hand. Whatever you do to others must surely come back to you. That is karma for you. Okay, whatever you do, there is karma. Ekpa, do you know how many souls your soldiers have killed in the name of Sidatum? Hello, friend. How are you doing? How are you? How are you people hoping a uh, coping? I I I I I believe and I I trust God that this time on Ekpa's arrest will bring peace in the southeast. Hmm. Yes, so really, how are we not sure that his arrest will actually bring peace in the southeast region? How? How are we sure that Simon Ekpa's arrest will eventually bring peace? Anyway, whether his wife is asking for the custody of his of their children and all that, that is their personal matter. You understand? It's their personal issues. But people who are saying that Simon Ekpa's arrest will definitely bring peace in the Southeast, I think we are mistaking it here. That was how Namde Kano was, was adopted in Kenya. I don't think that brought peace in the Southeast. That's... That, that's abduction actually brought uh, Simon Ekpa on board. I hope Nigerian government will not make another mistake. You understand? Just like what I always say, that the best way to go about these issues on ground is dialogue because you, don't, you can't tell. Some persons are already you know, taking over Simon Ekpa's position meaning that these things continues. So it's not what 
you will just say, oh, Simon Ekbaz has been arrested. And that ain't the agitations in the Southeast. I told us this thing before now, that the agitations has even, the agitations have left Simon Ekba and the Nam de Kano, he don't say, you get. So, Nigerians, how do we see this matter on ground? Uh, talking about Simon Ekba's wife and uh, like what I said, that is their personal issues you get. I'm dropping it. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Please, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.